didn't take off much, although that's probably 40% of the tree. Um, but yeah, it didn't take off much. Cleaned it up a bit, um, subalpine fur. Uh, so, you know, I've opened up this here, uh, which is kind of nice to have this big sort of root just really widens that base. Now, I don't know where I'll put the soil up to. Uh, it looks like there's some serious scars. I don't know, uh, maybe when, when it was originally popped, uh, it had taken some scars, some cuts down in there, but it's uh, it's actually a really nice sort of long root. Now, I have it angled a bit, so this is, this is flat. And what happens, <clears throat> is it just two dimensional there, but it kind of has this nice flow and, and you have this, this sort of, you know, cubs two dimensional, but you kind of start to see this cut, this flat cut, although that can round over time. Um, and you really get this nice movement in here. But uh, what happens is, is it, it's, well, like I said, it's just kind of flat there and so you lose the three dimensionality of it. And you also have a really far leaning to the left and then everything coming to the right, so the main, primary branch and then the apex going to the right. Now I could eventually move the apex back over to the top, um, but I kind of like the coming back on itself. So I'm thinking here, and this just gives you a little bit more of this movement. Teeny bit more of that movement. And, uh, and then it takes this off of the, off of the plane you lose a little bit of movement up in this thing, but you also lose lose the, the vision in the back, which is a good thing, so. And there's a little, another subalpine fur. And so I've just done sort of an initial styling, some of the branches I've left, I've just sort of set it up. I'm gonna help hope for more back budding, um, you know, um, in, in interior buds as this tree sort of progresses, but uh, it's just a step for now. And next year I'll transplant it to something a little nicer in the box, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there.